Today in this video, I'm going to create an LED flasher circuit without using any IC or transistor. Yes, no IC, no transistor. Let's begin with the first component, a 220 microfarad capacitor. I'll start by applying some solder to both of its legs. Then I'll take a white LED and solder its positive leg to the positive leg of the capacitor. Next, I'll take a one kilo ohm resistor and solder one of its legs to the negative pin of the LED. I'll bend the other leg of the resistor and solder it to the negative leg of the capacitor. Now let's take a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and solder it to the positive leg of the capacitor. This resistor will serve as part of the charging path for the capacitor. After soldering it, I'll trim the extra pin and apply a small amount of solder to the exposed joint to ensure a solid connection. Now I'm bringing in the LDR, light dependent resistor. This component changes resistance based on light. In bright light, its resistance is low. In darkness, it's high. I'll solder one leg of the LDR to the free end of the 4.7K ohm resistor and the other leg to the negative leg of the capacitor. Now we have a light sensitive voltage divider controlling how the capacitor charges. Now it's time to bring the circuit to life by connecting a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. I'll begin by taking the positive wire of the battery and soldering it to one leg of the LDR, which is connected through a resistor network to the capacitor. This will allow current to begin flowing into the circuit. Next, I'll take the negative wire of the battery and connect it to the negative leg of the LED. This forms the return path for the current and completes the circuit. Once I connect the battery, the LED begins to blink. Pretty cool, right? But do you know how it works? Let me explain. This LED flasher circuit works by using a capacitor that charges and discharges over and over again. When you connect the battery, the capacitor starts to charge through the LDR and a resistor. The LDR changes its resistance depending on the light around it. In darkness, it has more resistance. In bright light, less. As the capacitor charges, a small amount of current flows through the LED making it turn on for a short time. Once the capacitor is fully charged, the current stops and the LED turns off. The capacitor then begins to discharge and the process repeats. The one kilo ohm resistor helps limit the current to keep the LED safe. This cycle keeps going, making the LED blink again and again, all without using any ICs or transistors. Just a few simple parts working together. If you found this project helpful, please like the video, and feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching.